Now let's answer some questions about how the Intuos functions. The first question is, how can the touch feature be disabled? The touch feature can be turned off with a slider switch located on the back corner of the tablet. You can also set one of your express keys to enable and disable touch. The next question is, what happens if I rest my palm on the tablet while I'm drawing? The answer is nothing. Resting your palm on the tablet will not activate the tablet or draw a mark. You can feel free to rest your hand while you're drawing and writing, as you would naturally with a piece of paper. If you do have any issues with the touch, you can just disable it with the on-off switch. Another popular question is, can I see what I'm drawing on the tablet or do I have to look at my computer monitor? And for this particular kind of tablet, you have to look at the computer monitor. You draw on the tablet and you look at your computer screen. If you want a tablet with a built-in screen, you'll want a Wacom Cintiq. The next question is, why doesn't my pen have an eraser? The reason for that is because you ordered the CTL480 version of the Intuos, which doesn't have an eraser. The next question is, can I use the Intuos and a mouse at the same time? The answer is yes, both a mouse and a pen can control the cursor. Of course, you'd want to use them independently. Moving on to the next question, does the Intuos pen require a battery? No. Unlike most other tablets, Wacom pens do not require batteries. This is a major advantage in my opinion. The next question is, can I use the Intuos for annotation and handwriting? Absolutely. It's very useful for writing, note-taking, and document signing. You can also annotate during classes, presentations, and screen sharing. Another frequently asked question is, why does the pen move the cursor differently than it does when I use the touch? The pen is used to point to a specific place on the screen. If you point to the top left of your tablet, for instance, the cursor will move to the top left of your monitor. Moving the cursor with the touch just pushes the cursor around the screen, just like it would if you were using a regular mouse or a trackpad. The next question is, how difficult is it to draw on the tablet while looking up at your computer screen? It's challenging at first, but after a couple of weeks of practice, it becomes second nature. Tracing over a photo is a really good way to build your hand-eye coordination. Now let's talk a little bit about compatibility. The first question is, does the Intuos work with Photoshop, Illustrator, Flash, Sketchbook, Pro, GIMP, Corel, Painter, ArtRage, PowerPoint, etc.? The Intuos will work with all software applications to control the cursor. However, pen pressure is only available in applications which support pen pressure, like Corel, Painter, ArtRage, and Photoshop, for instance. And moving on to our next question, is the Intuos compatible with Windows or Mac? The Intuos works with both Windows and Mac, on desktop and on laptop computers. The supported operating systems are Mac OS X 10.6 and later, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows Vista. Another question I get quite often is, can the tablet be both right and left-handed? Yes, the Intuos works for both righties and lefties. Look under Options in the Wacom Tablet Properties for Handedness. Will I need drawing and painting software to use this tablet? The answer is yes. The Intuos does come bundled with free software, and there are also dozens of free applications you can download from the web. The next question is, can I use the bundled software on more than one computer? The answer for this is a little tricky because it depends on the software license for each application, but in most cases you can install the software on more than one computer. And a really popular question is, what software does the Intuos come with? The US versions of the Intuos come with free software that can be downloaded from the web after you register your tablet. The Intuos Pen Small CTL480 comes with Autodesk Sketchbook Express and ArtRage Studio. The Intuos Pen and Touch Small CTH480 comes with Adobe Photoshop Element, Autodesk Sketchbook Express, ArtRage Studio, and Nick Color Effects Pro. Intuos Pen and Touch Medium CTH680 comes with Adobe Photoshop Elements, Sketchbook Express, Corel Painter Lite, and Nick Color Effects Pro. The Intuos Manga Pen and Touch Small, CTH 480S2, comes with Manga Studio Debut 4 and Anime Studio Debut 8. These are software applications for making comic books, manga, and animations. The next commonly asked question is, I registered my tablet. Why does it say there's no free software available? The answer is, if you're outside the US, the software may not be available to you depending on which country you live in. But don't worry, there's a list of free digital art software on my website that you can download from anywhere in the world. Moving on to the next question, is the bundled software any good? Yes, I like ArtRage a lot for painting and drawing, and Manga Studio is really great for making comics and manga.